Let me start off by saying that that Everton tie was one of the most disappointing performances I've seen Manchester City have this season. As soon as we scored that goal, we switched gears. We laid off. We were trying to be comfortable in the match. We had zero creativity. Our left side was lacking any potential potency whatsoever. And I knew, I told myself, I swear, if Everton managed to score a goal, it's done. It's over. We're not coming back from this game. Nothing pisses me off more than when Manchester City fans... Any of y'all think that we have some God-written rule to win every single match in the Premier League, that we were going to win against Everton 5-0, 6-0, 7-0, 8-0, 9-0, 10-0, all that crazy BS as I've heard some of y'all say over these past couple weeks, especially with other teams. No, it's not going to happen. This is a Premier League. Any team is beatable on any given day. It's sad because I actually thought Brighton might actually get something out of the game. I was just tuning into the game right now and... I, just, I was watching it for like, what, like a minute and like 20 seconds in, Saka scores, it's 1-0 to Arsenal. Next three game weeks are so incredibly pivotal to deciding the momentum into the second half of the season, in which I think these, these three fixtures for both teams will probably determine so much for the remainder of the season. So obviously currently Man City is at 36 points, Arsenal is on top with 43 points. And the next three games that each of these teams have are going to show exactly what each team is made of. So Man City is playing at Stamford Bridge away to Chelsea. We're also playing United away and then our next game is Tottenham Hotspur, a team that did the double against us last season. Last time we played Spurs at the end, we lost 3-2 with that Harry Kane uh, injury time winner. Arsenal are playing Newcastle at home who are currently sitting in third right now. Spurs away and Manchester United at home. So this is a ridiculously crazy ass three game weeks next for these two teams. And look, I'm just being honest, guys. I'm not trying to be. I'm trying to be as humble and as unbiased as possible. I do not expect Man City to get three points from here, three here, and three. I don't expect them to come away in these next three game weeks with a nine out of nine point tally out of three game weeks. I don't expect that at all. I expect something like six, seven, something along those lines. Arsenal, though, I expect them to get three points against Newcastle. I expect them to get three points against Spurs. I definitely expect them to get three points against United since they beat them at the Emirates Stadium. In the last game, so incredibly pivotal. Once I saw this on the schedule on my app, I was so incredibly scared and nervous because, oh my god, we're going into these next three games with such bad form against Everton. And we also lost our previous home game to Brentford. So home games, it's not looking too great for Man City. United and Spurs are right now fighting for top four right now. Chelsea is it is like seventh right now, and they're expected to go back into European qualification. So they're going to be so incredibly hungry at their home crowd in front of all their fans against Manchester City. We did the double against them last season. They don't want any of that shit to happen for this upcoming game. So they are going to be very, very hungry for a win. Obviously, United, we destroyed them 6-1. I'm not going to count those last two goals because Man City weren't even trying, all right? We beat them 6-1 at the Etihad, all right, a couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe. I don't, I, I don't know the timeline, but... And then Spurs at home. I hate playing against Spurs because that's literally one of our bogey teams. No matter how good we are at fo in form, these, this team right here, they always find a way to get under my skin, to trigger every bone in my body. So like I said, I don't expect nine points out of these next three game weeks. Like I said, I do expect Arsenal to actually win all three games, but like like I said in the beginning of the video, any team can be beaten. It's the Premier League. I, I, I just said that I don't expect Man City to get nine points out of these three games. That could very well happen. We're Manchester City. We have Holland and De Bruyne, okay? But Newcastle here are in third place. They're looking to fight not only for the top four, but to be in the title contention. That's how good this team is. They didn't even spend a lot of money. They just spent a large amount of money, not a substantial amount, and they're doing so incredibly. Newcastle is one of the most fun teams to watch right now in Europe, not just in the Premier League. So Newcastle are going to be so incredibly hungry against Arsenal. Spurs and United, just like what I said here, these two teams are fighting for top four. Spurs and United. United just got into top four because of that Rashford goal against Wolves earlier this morning. So these two teams are going to be so incredibly hungry to beat Arsenal, especially since United already beat them uh, in, their, in, their, first, in the, their first matchup a couple months ago. And Spurs, London, let's see. London, is, London right now is red. Let's see if Spurs can change that. Imagine in the worst possible scenario for Manchester City, we get three points against Chelsea, and then we lose against United, and we lose against Spurs. And then Arsenal gets three here, three here, and three here. So we get three out of nine points. Arsenal gets nine out of nine points. That takes our tally to 39 points out of 19 game weeks and takes their tally to 52 points. So that is a difference of 13 points going into half the season, 19 game weeks. And that is something that is entirely possible with the form Arsenal are in right now. This team right now, that is the best team in the league. 
it's not this team. It's de definitely not this team or this team. Definitely not that team. Arsenal is the best team in the Premier League right now. So that is why this season, this ne these next three game weeks are so incredibly pivotal. Look, I'm a Man City fan. I'm not going to yield the title to Arsenal now. I'm definitely not going to yield the, t the title to Arsenal in the next five or six game weeks. Okay, I don't care right, about the results. We, we will fight till the end. But this right here is scaring the living hell out of me. That's why I'm telling you, these next three game weeks, pay attention to our next three games. Pay attention to Arsenal's next three games because these two are in, are in title contention. Look, there could, be, there could be very well a situation where, Chit where City loses two of these games. Arsenal loses against Newcastle and Spurs. And Newcastle somehow gets back into the title conversation. And they're really close. That's why the Premier League is so incredibly exciting. Every team is capable of doing everything. This is just a scenario here. It's a worst case scenario for Man City. I hope it doesn't go that way. I'm convinced that Alvarez and Haaland and De Bruyne won't let something like this happen. 13 points. Imagine something like thirteen point a 13 point difference. Um... At the start of the second half of the season, that would be so incredibly awful. So that's why this these, these next these next three game weeks are important for the title race.